Anthem Country Club. Just head in here to do a hot tub removal. That mountain in the background is a, is a smaller mountain, but it's called Daisy Mountain. Bunch of good hiking up on that. Kind of a pretty view to start the morning. Got a hot tub removal. That should be a few hours long. Then head, head over towards Cave Creek and get a bunch of outdoor stuff and a groove. And then after that, we have a uh, sectional removal. So probably a run into the dump somewhere in there and we'll see what else happens. Should be a good day. Just getting all my tools set up. The first wheelbarrow load to take back. So here's the path I'm gonna go over, hauling out this hot tub. It's probably a good 100 feet from where I'm parked. Nice big flagstone walkway. Here's the hot tub. Power is shut off. All these uh, wooden structures around it need to go. There's the spot itself. It's a medium size. So he's had it for 21 years. Just won't stop leaking. So time to go. Oh, here's an update. All the furniture that was around it's removed, hauled away, loaded up in the trailer nicely and the tops pulled off. I just want to mention something to you about electrical. This is like a little panel that goes to the spa. So the power coming in is turned off at the main panel. Power going out is turned off here as well. And then something that I like to do for peace of mind is uh, get one of these little wire testers. Let's you know if stuff's hot or not. So green means go. And uh, this thing is off in a couple different areas. So it's uh, not a problem to remove it. Pretty cool. Time to cut it up. I'm gonna remove the skirt all this wood paneling around it next. Pull out that electrical and start removing pumps. Pulled off all the skirting and the filters out. Now this is actually a better built hot tub. So you can see all this foam on the outside of it. That was behind the wood paneling or what I've been calling the skirting. And uh, that's actually a better built hot tub. It does make it more time consuming, um, you know, to get in there and cut stuff up and remove what I need to a little bit. It also makes more of a mess. So I always remove the paneling, um, lightens it up, but, but not knowing if there's foam underneath, you kind of got to start removing the paneling first, right? So we'll get it squared away. On to the All next right, step. Critter find of the morning. One dead scorpion, two dead scorpion, three dead scorpion, four dead scorpion, maybe more. It's a good start for the day. So it's cut in half now. Got it separated from itself, two separate pieces. Gonna give it a test at hollowing it out in two, uh, just to make less of a mess. It is about 100 feet to the trailer over Flagstone and there's a few corners and one one gate. So we'll see how it goes. So far All so right, good. another update. Half the hot tub is out in the trailer and this half I cut up two separate pieces it'll just allow me to maneuver it a lot better in the trailer and pack the trailer tighter so I don't have to go and load before my next pickup so so far so good we get these two pieces hauled out of here and then start cleaning up all the little foam and small uh, shards of stuff that broke get this wheelbarrow of pumps and electrical hauled out another wind it's removed swept it clean See, I'm actually going to remove all this concrete, so I didn't want me to hose it off, but another happy hot tub removal customer served by Around Town Junk it's Removal. Tarped. Hot tubs loaded, happy customer served. Time to head out to our uh, outdoor furniture and grill removal. On to the next job. My next job, got this umbrella base, some outdoor stuff, grill, little kiddie pool, umbrella. This pot's full of concrete, a few other items already hauled out this metal thing trailer starting to fill up got that shelf sitting behind the trailer that needs to go and a couple other things already tossed in but I'm gonna finish this load and head to the dump and got a sectional and another hot tub to do hopefully before the sun Everything's goes down removed everything we talked about is gone loaded in the trailer 
another happy customer helped trailer is probably 90 percent full but we're gonna go unload at the dump and uh maybe get some lunch head out to our next jobs it's a good day glad to be working on a friday Up being around 2,000 pounds, give or take. All unloaded, ready to head out, do some more jobs. Job, it's a sectional, getting it hauled away for a local customer. Gonna clean it up now. Is restored. All the stuff's put away. So able to help them out, remove some cardboard, put that up in the front. So being that this is a sectional and only one section is damaged, the other sections can be donated. So off to the donation center before our next hot tub. My next job, probably the last job of the day. It's a hot tub removal for the next door neighbor of my other customer this morning, who also had a hot tub removed. These guys saw what I was doing and said, hey, we need the same thing. So similar distance back to the hot tub. This one's up on a paver patio. It's also a rock pathway. And there's a hot tub. So time to cut into it and get it drained. It actually came with water in it. So I'm gonna get that started. Here we go. The hot tub removal. Got the paneling and the top all removed. Cut it in half and then cut that half in quarters and haul that out. Gradually working my way around this thing. Next step is to cut this second half into half again. Just make it more manageable getting it out through the gate and into the trailer. All right, the hot tub is removed. Pavers are swept. Customer is happy. Let's call it a day. Got the trailer tarped down. It's all secured. It was a big day today. Had a lot going on. Oh, look at the Daisy Mountain in the back. That's cool. You can see that direction. There's, uh, I can't remember, won't pick it up. But there's actually some uh, hot air balloons up there. Anyhow, started off this morning with a hot tub removal and then moved on to a backyard cleanup and had a sectional removal and tonight or this evening another hot tub so that's probably a, a record for me in terms of how many hot tubs in one day I think normally I've just had one so today to have two is kind of good test to push myself and just some amazing customers we love our customers we're so fortunate y'all take care have a good weekend